it's a profession that has not fallen victim to, te to technology. <laughs> You know, a machine taking the place of dozens of workers. Court stenographers is who we're talking about. They are still in huge demand. And tonight, proof positive. Scores of college students studying to become stenographers, competing in a nationwide kind of fastest fingers contest. And this is hard, really hard. Here's Safan Kim. All right, I'm going to dictate this at 225, just to get the fingers going. With the rise of technology these days, you might call this. Why did Walt want to have so much land? A dying art. But don't call it that. A well-kept secret of a profession that most people don't know about. The profession, stenography. And what you're looking at is a battle for the fastest fingers. More than 100 students in Queens competing in a nationwide contest while studying at Plaza College to become broadcast captioners and court reporters. No, it's not easy at all. <laughs> Members of the jury. There is a lot the brain has to compute in a short amount of time. It's a lot of muscle memory. T-K-H-R. <laughs> O-M-T. So when the attorney says, did there come a time, it comes up in one stroke. It's a whole different language. There's 23 keys on the machine. And each letter means something else. Could mean a group of words, could mean a phrase. It's memorized. So you're learning a skill, you're learning speed, and another language. In order to graduate, hear five minutes of dictation and transcribe 225 words a minute with a minimum 96% accuracy. The law would therefore hold... The best wins the national contest. It's a trippy experience doing this, for sure. I think when I got involved, I didn't know how um, intense it was going to be. And not only is this not a dying art, you could say the profession is going through a renaissance. About a decade ago, stenographers were being pushed out and there was a lack of new blood coming in. When they put the tape recorders into the courtrooms, there was a lot of inaudibles. So trials had to end up getting, they had to be thrown out and had to retry cases. Now there's a shortage of talent and demand is higher than ever. We've always been known as the guardians of the record. Everybody thinks, you know, Alexa and Siri could take over, but they can never take over from the human. In Forest Hills, Sefan Kim, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.